How are you doing and how have you been? My name is Taz Astakal. This is Pathfinder. So, last episode we came here alone to meet the nymph. No problem, she's been our mate. Turns out she just wanted to kill us and leave our land sort of like empty. So I don't know if she's got like a power trip or if like she's my girlfriend and I've done something wrong but she's not going to tell me what I, like she's done wrong so now she's being very passive aggressive and trying to kill me. You know how it is. We've got a young Hydra to kill this time. Which we should be fine as long as the skeletons don't spawn up here. Oh, that noise. Bit concerned that the manticore might actually join in on the fight. Doesn't look like it is. Let's try acid on the Hydra. I want my back line or the front line to actually just hold, to be honest. Ah, oh, you're not. Yeah, Bone Shaker. Look at these skeleton bro. Oh, that was easy. Who hit a 50 critical? It's a lot of damage. Am I not clicking on them all? Right, move up, move up, move up. Right, and just a manticore. <laughs> just a manticore. Yeah, charge him. Where's the dog? Charge him. Magic missile. Firebomb. I love the idea that someone must have done this and like tried to fight their way out and probably did. Come on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Sit look at that. Look at that. This is how you do it. Do, 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 do. This is how you do it. Right, now looting. I'm not going to be able to loot that bear. How annoying. I've got to try and. Yeah. Are you joking? It is done. I was hoping to get some good loot coming back here. Hydra Eye. I see the problem. No. Right, we do know some... Were they gnomes? Red caps? Are they goblins? Apparently this door's open, so that was in interesting to see what's down there. Oh, I thought he was dead then, so I went to pause it. Okay. They're interesting enemies, to say the least. I like their movement, that's really cool. But evidently they're not going to be... Um, impossible. I thought the other one on the floor was alive then, I thought I saw his health bar. Oh no, it's the dog. Lovely. Be even more lovely if I could loot their body. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing great. All right, we do know there's some more up here. So what we'll do is we'll clear the outside and then we'll move inside. I don't know if this is a main quest or not. Because there's not really much else for us to do. Athletics. Oh, you could have climbed up this way. That's interesting. I like when games do stuff like that, where there's two ways to do it. Makes it quite interesting. Oh, who did that? Scroll down. No, even when Valerie's doing how like damage, that's what you want. This is how we do it, party people. It's nice that we don't really have to use skills after we just had to use them for obviously all the the big things. To be fair, I thought the Hydra was going to be more of a problem than what it was. No stopping now. Okay, that's all done. So we just got them wolves and that uh, boy or person to loot. I wish, there was another way. I wish it could be yeah, Christmas every day. No, I shouldn't. Ganamari. <laughs> Come on. If that doesn't get your juices flowing, then nothing does. Look at that. Oh, you can see their health if you hold tabbing. 
Well, I wish I knew that earlier. Can we not loot? Seems like we're having a... Um, can't loot the boy anymore, which is interesting. So it was obviously a one-time thing. That's fine. So it looks like we've cleared everything out. Which you can see the... I suppose we're probably a level level up for this. Than what we should be. And that might be why we cut through it so quickly. Or maybe I'm just getting overly cocky. <laughs> and actually we're going to get mullered when we go inside. But yeah. So we're going to rest here. Then we're going to go inside and Jeez, see what's going on. Gotta catch a bear. A big one's hide would fit me just right. <laughs> I did turn up the voices and turn down the music and everything. So hopefully that's not... We were attacked just by one bear. Two bears. Tristian, fireball please. That's a fireball that shouldn't hit us. Lovely. A bit of the dog though, I think. Cool, easy peasy. Can deal with that all day long. Pushed me off my train of thought. But yeah, I, I heightened the character voices volume and just lowered everything else. Probably should have something I should have done earlier on, but where I'm still new to the game, I'm still learning about doing stuff. So, you know, bear with the channel. I am trying my best, I promise. All right, let's drop a little save and we're going to see what's in here. Although this map does look a lot like... Um, the Dwarven Ruins one. I don't know if that sort of means anything going in. And why our inventory is so empty is because we dropped off everything before we came here. So I wonder if the game will actually get us or stab us in the back, so to speak, for doing it, which would be interesting. Okay, very eerie. This is definitely not the same. Okay. Just want to make sure there's nothing in here. Well, this does look like another dwarven... Oh god, that made me jump. Oh my god. Okay, what was that? Negative level. I have to admit, that made me jump. I actually felt sick. I am yours to command. <sighs> Physically idea. felt sick. Um, so it's downed our level, so we definitely don't want that on Valerie. Oh, God, that really, really made me feel sick. So minus five levels. Makes me feel like we should go back. The dog is just dead. Jeez, look at the levels. What's new? So we've got one more. I suppose give it to our ranger because he does a bit of damage. I don't know how this is going to be brutal. God, that made me sick. The fact that we didn't see it though. Just locked. Don't tell me it's like the keys that we picked up before. So yeah, I can't for the life of me. There's definitely nothing in here. Unless we're just meant to come back later. Okay. But that level, that level thing just made me jump. Jeez. I don't think I've ever pooed myself that much. <laughs> Spoiler, I pooed myself. Okay. This definitely didn't have anything on, no. Well, the area's clear. Well, there's nothing we're like missing down here. Nope. Follow me. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we cleared the area for when we come back or know how to come back later. 
Which I suppose is a good thing. So we'll live like that for now. A bit anticlimactic, I have to admit. <laughs> but that's fine. Don't really know what else to do at the moment. Unless we had to disarm that trap to go in, but that doesn't sound right. Uh, hold on now. Not really. But what's that journal want us to do? The lost child. We have to go back to the capital to sort that out. That's just a hand in quest. Kill the scythe tree. We're not even level enough to be able to do that. Could do the DLC. Show the letter to Valerie. Okay, so I think we'll go back to the keep because we've got a quest to hand in and then we can perhaps do Valerie's storyline. Ah, oh, there's always something on the road. On the road again. Do, 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 do. We're on the road again. Oh. Young, okay. This could be what we were waiting for. Tristy Young. No, don't do that. You can do a raise undead though. I'd love you to do a raise undead. <sighs> I haven't done that for ages where I just like accidentally un. It's because I get excited and then I accidentally unselect stuff. Cool. Gun on Mary. Wreck him. Right, cool. Let's help our friend? Question mark? Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I lost where our cantrips were, though. Do some acid damage. Come on. Acid damage. Oh, how can you miss from that? Luckily, our ranger does have acid attack, but still. Lovely. Acid on the last one, please. Lovely. Well, human, today you have helped the Dwyma Cat. Dwyma Cat does not forget those who help her. We shall meet again, perhaps. Who knows? Okay. Oh, and she just disappeared. I was just about to go and see if we could chat with her. Interesting. Oh, we've done this map before. Very interesting. I wonder how that helps us later or hinders us who knows everyone that we hate sorry the only people that we help seems to backstab us and try and kill us so to be fair should have probably worked out that was going to be what it was when um she wanted to meet us on our own i thought you never know we might get um lucky with a reward don't be dirty Let's go back to the keep. We'll hand in because we found the sun and the sun had died sadly. I think that was probably our fault, but. we what did we get there? We got lots and lots of um, pop ups that sort of disappeared before I had time to look to see what was what. Look at our lovely kingdom. To the tavern? Is that where the woman is with her son? I'm sure that's what the quest said. Could be very much mistaken though. It's happened twice before. Uh, so what we want. Lost child. In the capital tavern. I cannot for the love. Jenna? Hi, is your son dead? Oh, I couldn't save your son, I'm sorry. Oh. She slowly walks away. Very sad. Very, very sad. Hi, Amari. I'm just telling people that we're getting sons killed and all that sort of stuff. Main square, because we know that's where Valerie is. 
And then we'll go to the foam room, have a look around, that sort of stuff. Make sure the dusting's getting done, the hoover and that sort of fancy dancy stuff. See if that big statue of me's built yet. That'd be awesome. Be like the Egyptians, they had it right with all their pyramids and monuments and they knew how to just ignore the slavery and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> oh jeez. Hashtag cancel Tazostical. Um Oh that's interesting. Now I know where the pub is. Lovely. Right, Valerie's over here. See what she thinks of this letter. Where's the thing? Tell me about her paladins. Yeah, we know about that. Um, is it not here I'm meant to do it? What kind of art did you pursue? Let's talk about something else. Um, why are you following my orders? Guess you have plenty of suitors. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Is it not here where I'm meant to do it? Show letter to Vadu. Oh, it's probably because I haven't got it on me. I reckon that's what it is. Thinking about it, that's the logical thing because I dumped everything. Any annoying thing is I might have to do some inventory sorting out. Because I have to pull everything out of the chest bank. I don't know what you call it. What do you want? You undead wench. Travelling merchant. If you allow me to speak, I can explain everything. Okay. I hope you can, Half-Blood. Otherwise, have I told you the sad story of my death? It is sad, most of us. It is sad, most of all, because I do not remember how my life ended. I wandered, exhausted through the wasteland beyond the borders, until I could barely see my path. I stopped to rest, or perhaps I lost consciousness. When I came to my senses, I heard the call of my goddess. Why are you coming and telling me this? Was it poison, magic, illness? Whatever stole my life away, I have no trace. I thought this mystery would haunt me forever. But then I entered the shop, and this half-blood, seeking some reminder. And what did I discover there? My very own dagger. This dagger disappeared the same night I was taken by death. How could this half-blood have obtained it? Uh, let him speak. Anger will not help us. Well, to be fair, you, you know, I sell so much stuff. Uh, thank you for allowing me to speak, Your Grace. The story's not very exciting. Uh, certainly not as exciting as the tale of my drunken... <laughs> drunken escapade, let's say. Yesterday, north of the city, I stumbled upon a dead boar. There was no one around, but the dagger was protruding from the miserable beast's neck. I don't know why they only would have left it in the carcass, maybe to send a message. Perhaps the beast escaped from the hunter. So I decided to keep the item I found, thanking my luck, and never suspected the price I'd pay. Um, where did you find this? Uh, the old sycamore. Okay. Found the ball to the west of the sycamore in the direction of the Fawn River. Oh, I thought you meant in. Um, yeah, let's find this boar first. It's not just killing innocent for like no reason. You know, as fun as that sounds. Uh, collect all. But we are obviously going to have to dump a lot of stuff. So let's dump all these weapons. Do, 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 do. We'll come back and sell some other point. Oh, that, that, that. Um, what else? I suppose we can keep all that. Yeah. Cool. Let's go... Oh, we do have an exclamation mark. And exclamation marks get me excited. 
So I'd be a fool not to click that button to see what had happened. Triumph! Yay! The citizens are concerned about their safety. They want to raise funds to build a fortification around their village. Lovely. Success! The subjects to the Baron pledge their undying loyalty and support, my lord. Lovely. Another success! Oh, that's, um... Mysterious weed. A giant weed is taking over more and more farmland. Someone must... Pers so this is a problem. Someone must persuade the peasants to start fighting the pests. Oh, Tristian. Let's give you that, then you got 100% because it is a problem. So that is never going to... What have we got here? Talented recruits. One plus boning to bonus to resolving any problem with a general. Oh, we've got a few BP points. Support the general's endeavour. Spend two weeks resolving the barony's military issues. No, don't want to waste two weeks. But that's another two weeks. Curses. Uh, He's rebuilding. What is he doing? How do I see what he's doing? 43 days. Jeez. Restore the Temple of Elk. Okay. Probably shouldn't be doing that right now. But we will go through. We can't do anything in there anyway. Because we need to claim this area. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, we don't have the BP for that anyway. So what's the point of... Um, so we could do this, 50 BP points, 14 days, yeah, why not, Sport general, we don't really want to be disappeared for two weeks, so I think we'll leave it like that, just like that, pump it up, you. Yeah. right, let's go to our man down here to see if we've got any extra trinkets to give him to get some monies. There we go, Torag's mask, lovely. Cool, really interesting. <laughs> oh, I'm a horrible person, I know. Right, let's talk to a Valerie and let's see uh main square. And let's see if it works now, because I'll have the letter actually on me, on my persons. Which would make more sense to talk to her with it, but I was just checking the game was like, you know, straight laced, was like sensible, legit. You know, I didn't forget it on purpose. Come on, you know me by now. Arrest is in order. I laugh if it doesn't work now. Here we go, give the letter. Valerie, I received this letter. He says I'm to free you from service and return you. Really? May I look at this letter? Hmm, is that so? I see. My apologies, Tazaskor. Seem to have become the reason for this message and highly inappropriate demands it contained. I know this person. He is one of mentors in the Order of the Eternal Rose, a true paladin. One of those who insist they are right till the very end. <laughs> he kept saying louder than anyone. Okay. Looks like he never came to terms with me leaving, but the nerve, the mistake of leaving our ranks. Return to the path de de destined by the divine will. Is she going to like punch him in the face? Um, then it's time to visit Olag. Cool. We'll probably just go do that now. It would be great if I actually like click to move, like I click left click, which did something. All right, the game's just messing with me. <laughs> the game's just messing with me now. Yeah, let's go to Olags. We'll sort that out. We've got nothing else pressing to do. Got to go do J Fool's stuff, but. Problem is, is because she's the only one that's undead, she's a bit of a nightmare, a bit of a pain if you take her. Because obviously you can't outright heal her, it will just do damage to her. We've still got that negative level up. Um, yeah, let's go straight to here, so it'll take a day. And then what we might do 
find the ball near the old sycamore he's actually we might do the old sycamore back on the way back have a look at other places that we haven't been to water um old low old, uh, old oak that one and time to get some rest isn't it there's a village a village down there that we haven't actually been to we'll rest before we go in because you know, Ethan, you be just in case valerie punches someone in the face I don't feel like my party truly gels with each other, but we work. That's 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 the best part of it. All right, let's enter and see what happens. Cause I like Valerie, so I don't mind doing her side quest stuff. With that J four, just because I, I don't use her and I don't. That dog always panics me. It is done. All right, that's that. You require my assistance? Can we get rid of these like level downs? Or is this just not a powerful enough restoration spell for it? I don't think it's powerful enough for it. I don't do it again. I don't mean to click it again. All right, save, and then this is the gentleman that wants Valerie. So let's see. <coughs> Let's see what he has to say for himself. Whoa, I don't want us running in front. I am your shield. Baron Tazastko, what an honor to meet you in person. I am Fred, a paladin of the most All right, get on with it. There you are, Valerie. How many years has it been since we saw each other? I am so happy that the years haven't erased this divine bliss written up. Is he just like charming her? Um, I think you should talk to Valerie alone. Tell me why you're here. As I mentioned, want to return Valerie. Oh, you speak as though I am incapable of understanding where my duties lie. Hmm. You are from the Eternal Rose. Exactly, I once guarded the blessing. I don't really want to leave her alone with them. Many servants. You knew Valerie as a girl. Tell me about her. Don't look at me like that. I'm the only one that believes her. Father did the right thing, sending his daughter. My departure wasn't a mistake. It fixed someone else's mistake, which caused me to waste a few years of my life. Jesus. Where are you planning to go? Entourage the borders, borders of Pitas. Hmm... Orders of Prism, there's Zell serving the goddess. Would be good for Valerie. I think you should talk to Valerie alone. Don't go, Your Grace. My intentions are no to all. Valerie, I've come to return you to our faith. Our Now you can imagine that not only do I want not that not only do I want to serve, but now have faith in her too. I don't recognise you, Valerie. What is this tone you address me with? I remember what politeness and respect you show. Oh, Jesus. Punch him in the face. I'm only repaying your courtesy in kind. If you so easily ascribe to me thoughts and aspirations that I do not possess, then I can be liberal a judge of your behaviour. Yeah, watch your tongue, Fred. You're on my lands. No way did I tend to be impolite. Forgive my manners. It's difficult for me not to address Valerie as a novice. You're just trying to be an idiot. As for my return to the church, which you so bluntly insist upon, please, Fred, spare me your worthy speeches. The day I walked out the covenant gates, I made a decision. I'm not going to change. I'm never returning to the Eternal Rose. I'm never going back. Whatever nonsense you started your letter, let's put an end to it once and for all. We're about to fight. I don't believe I hear my... I don't believe my ears. I expected to see repentance, Valerie. Repentance for your foolish choices. Repentance for the pain you've caused your family. 
and for those who relied on you. But instead, I see a proud renegade who dare to resist the will of the goddess, who would defy me, the one who laboured to bring you up and teach you. <coughs> I am not... Oh, this is Valerie. <laughs> Remember the voices, Tazasco. I am not in the beast lit surprised by your words, Fred. You've always been deaf to anything that goes against your belief. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, one more and you'll be decorating the nearest fence. Stay out of it. Oh, I only meant to support you. Oh. Um, what you call home, Fred, is my prison. My home is here in these lands, for which the Baron and I fought and shed our blood. Here, beside the one I vow to serve, who I shan't leave until I die. Here in the stolen lands, for where, for the first time, I can decide for myself where I belong and what I believe. Take your people, Fred, and go back to the Eternal Rose Abbey. And if you've got the nerve to claim, I'm sure I Yeah, I just... Dyslexic, can't say it. Move on. Chosen. Well, no, your precious goddess should have never have chosen her trinkets more carefully. How dare you. Well said, Valerie. <laughs> if you insist on... If you insist on standing equal, answer your words now. If you have a drop of dignity left, you won't deny me satisfaction. Oh, so now I'm suddenly an independent person in your eyes, finally. Well then, I shall agree to this duel. Um, as you say, Valerie, what will you have me do? The second's reasonable. Uh, the second responsibilities include observing the fight, meditating in the duel, and should the circumstances require, declaring the final verdict. I think here is a good enough step away. To, I don't want to hit you by accident. So am I not fighting this? Just Valerie. Because Valerie will mess you up. Oh, one of my choirs will be my second. Would anyone else please clear the dueling ground? and Do not interfere until a winner has been determined. Okay. What are you doing here? Don't worry, good master. We'll settle our argument quickly and do no harm to your trading post. I like the, the actual test stands quite a lot for a while. I am. Let your second start the countdown. Come on, Valerie should do it. Participants, please ready your weapons and assume your positions. Hope I can control her. Cool. I'd really feel better if I could um, down one of those. Oh, that's going to take a while. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, we ain't got much tricks. But we can tank like a boss. Oh, saying that, that was a big hit. Dazzling display. Does that have no effect? No effect. She's getting mu like, mullered. I don't know if I give him an attack of opportunity if I try and drink a potion. Ouch. Well, that was like... It smullered me. Looks like everything's in its place, doesn't it? You could be however insolent to whoever you wanted as long as you were considered a girl, Valerie. But now you'll have to answer for all the stupid things you said in pride or heated moments. I'm satisfied with the outcome of this duel. I see no reasons to linger here upsetting the owners of this trading post and Baron. With great sadness, I will continue my way without Valerie, who from now on has no right to return to the Order, due to her transgressions. Enough talk. Leave her. I will bother you no more. My regards, your grace, Valerie. Farewell. Maybe she was never meant to win that duel there. 
Especially not in the way I've built her. She's not built to do damage. Dear God, your face, Valerie. Oh, she's got a scar down it. They've changed the picture. It's got a scar. Jesus. What? Is there something? Uh, Valerie touches the wound uh, crossing her face and looks at the blood on her fingers. More baffled than scared. Uh, let me heal you. She touches the wound again, winces and finally waves it off. It is nothing. I do not even feel any pain, only fatigue. Fa um, save your pity for someone who is truly wounded. And I just need to rest and wash myself clean after all these conversations. Um, is that all that done then? Yeah. Talk to Valerie. Oh, the jewel is over. Talk to her at the capital. Cool. So I think we're going to leave that here for this episode. But yeah, no, it's even changed her picture here. That's really cool. Well, sort of cool. Anyway, if you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.